Hello friends, welcome to iExambi's law channel Legal Bee. Today I am going to tell you about another recruitment which has been announced by UPSC for law graduates. This is recruitment of assistant director in corporate law. There are 13 vacancies in this and there is no written test. Only interview is there in this recruitment. This is a very good opportunity for all the law graduates. I'll tell you how you can check out this recruitment, where you can find this recruitment and what are the important points with respect to this recruitment, this notification. So this is the UPSS website. Now, if you see under UPSS website, there is recruitment tab. In this, if you go to advertisements, you will see all the current advertisements. Here, if you click on this advertisement number 21, you will see a PDF which will give a detail of the recruitment. I'll also show where you can find this recruitment on the online page. So here you can see another tab of online recruitment application. When you click on this tab, you will move on to this kind of page where all the recruitments will appear and you can know the detail of each and every recruitment. Here you can see the recruitment of assistant director corporate law. Once you click on this, you will move on to the detailed page explaining the requirements and the eligibility qualifications of this recruitment. So this is what is mentioned in the assistant director corporate law recruitment. Here, if you see the posters of assistant director corporate law, it is under Ministry of Corporate Affairs and the organization is Serious Fraud Investigation Office, SIFIO. There are 13 vacancies. It is divided under various categories as is shown. Then if you look at the pay scale, as per the 7th pay commission, level 8, the total emoluments including TA and HRA at the time of initial appointment will be around Rs 47,600 plus DA as age qualification not exceeding 30 years for general and EWS category candidates on normal closing date and not exceeding 35 years for SC and ST candidates and not exceeding 33 years for other backward class candidates as on normal closing date in respect of the vacancies reserved for them. This is also relaxable for regularly appointed government servants up to five years as per instruction or orders issued by government of India from time to time. Then moving to essential qualifications in the education background, bachelor degree in law from a recognized university or institute is required or integrated bachelor degree in law five years from a recognized university or institute or bachelor degree in any discipline from a university or institute and company secretary from the Institute of Company Secretaries of India. Desirable qualification also includes one year experience in the field of law and should be conversant with the tools and techniques of collection of evidence or recording of statements and presentation of evidence in proceedings. These qualifications are relaxable at the description of UPSC for reasons to be recorded in writing in the case of candidates otherwise well qualified. Now looking at the duties of assistant director in corporate law. The first one is to assist as member of investigation team for examination of investigation cases relating to corporate law. Second is to render assistance in collection and collation of evidence or recording of statements. Third is to present evidences for the preparation of reports to be subsequently used in prosecution. And fourth is any other work assigned from time to time. There is a probation period of two years for direct recruits. Headquarters are in New Delhi with all India service liability. The post is General Central Service Group B Gazetted Non-Ministerial Post and the post is permanent. This is not a contractual or ad hoc post. It is a permanent post and there are no other conditions which are available. Now we will move on to the recruitment notification which I showed you. You can find from the advertisement tab using this PDF. So here you will see 13 vacancies for the post of Assistant Director Corporate Law in Serious Fraud Investigation Office, Ministry of Corporate Affairs. Then it, the division is also given, education qualification is given. Now let's look at the important dates. The closing date for submission of online recruitment application through ORA website is 1st of December and the last date for printing of completely submitted online application is 2nd of December. The date for determining the eligibility of all candidates in every respect shall be the prescribed closing date for submission of online recruitment application. The applicants are advised to fill in their particulars in the online recruitment application carefully as submission of wrong information may lead to rejection through computer-based shortlisting apart from debarment by the commission. The date for the interview on which the shortlisted candidates are required to bring the printout of their online application along with other documents at UPSC shall be intimated separately. 
there is important note also given in the event of number of applications being very large commission will adopt shortlisting criteria to restrict the number of candidates to be called for interview to a reasonable number by any or more of one of the following methods on the basis of desirable qualification or any one or all of the desirable qualifications if more than one desirable qualification is prescribed on the basis of higher education qualifications than the minimum prescribed in the advertisement on the basis of higher experience in the relevant field by counting experience before or after the acquisition of essential qualifications by invoking experience even in cases where there is no experience mentioned either as essential qualification or desirable qualification or there can be a possibility of holding a recruitment test in case the number of applications are very large then upsc may opt to conduct a recruitment test there is a minimum marks criteria also given that you should obtain in the interview the category wise minimum level of suitability in the interviews irrespective of whether the selection is made only by interview or by recruitment test followed by interview will be 50 marks for you unreserved and ews and 45 marks for obc 40 marks for sc st pwbd out of total marks of 100 in case where selection is made by recruitment test followed by interview the candidates will have to achieve a minimal level of suitability in the respective category at the interview stage then application fee is mentioned concessions and relaxations are mentioned you can check out this detail from the notification another important thing is that all the candidates who are shortlisted for interview on the basis of information that is provided by them in the online applications will be required to send self attested copies of the documents or relevant certificates in support of the claims made in the application as and when demanded by the commission there is a warning also issued that those who are shortlisted for interview only on the basis of information provided by them in online application documents submitted in support of the claim made in the online application will be examined if the candidate is prima facie eligible to be shortlisted on the basis of information regarding qualification and experience claimed in the online application if at any subsequent stage or at any time of the interview any information given by them or any claim made by them in their online application is found to be false their candidature will be liable to be rejected and they may also be debarred either permanently or for a specified period so here i will say this is a very good recruitment there is a probability of written test but not compulsorily and there are a good number of vacancies in this and if you have any doubts you can drop them down in the comment below you can also reach out to us on this number 920552402 subscribe to our legal be youtube channel this is your one stop solution for all legal exams thank you